And, you know, people go, oh, what do you expect, a Baptist pastor to run for president? Or something? It's like, look, no, I don't, I'm not looking for, you know, it's funny because when you look at standards, right, I think we ought to have standards in a candidate of who you're going to choose to be a ruler in a country. The Bible gives us lots of standards of people that were ended up being rulers. We could go back to that. I'm not, we're not going to do that this morning. And, and how Moses selected and ordained rulers over the people. And they weren't all priests, right? They were just people, men of renown, people that were known, people who had integrity, people who were honest and good, and that's who the, you choose to be in charge and ruling people. I mean, is it really that hard? But when you've got people who are, are pro-abominations, I mean, we're talking about, look, we're all sinners. We're all guilty of things. No one's going to be perfect. But there's a huge difference between people who are, yeah, I've got some problems, but overall can just live with integrity and live by a set of morals and, and have like the Bible be their guide of truth versus people who are just going to, yeah, sodomy, no problem with it. Actually, I'm going to pander to perverts because I want them to vote for me or Abortion, death, murder, just legalized murder. No problem at all. And when you don't even have anybody that can, can, that can satisfy just two of some of the most basic, most basic morality, you know, passes. Don't tell me my standards are too high. I mean, is it too much to say I don't want an adulterer? I don't want a, a pedophile? I don't want people who support either one of those, okay? I, I don't want someone like that, someone that is in such moral rot and decay to be the leader of the country. So no, if one is a little bit better than another on some issues here or there, look, I don't want either of them, okay? But I'm not going to go into all that this morning. That's pretty obvious. I want, what I want to do is remind people who may be caught up in the nonsense going, oh man, what are we going to do? This is crazy, or whatever. And remind, first of all, the first point is that God will lift up and God will abase rulers in this world. Okay, so that's another one of the reasons why I think elections don't really matter. They don't really matter. Because God will put in place who he wants to be there anyways. I mean, you think you have all this power and all this voice, but at the end of the day, you know, there's someone higher than you. And there's someone higher than the Democrat and Republicans, and there's someone higher than even the, the forces of darkness that, that are in positions of power in this world. There's someone more powerful than them. And it's the Lord Almighty. 